that's what I'm doing. Nah, I can say that's something to both of us. Uh, Tony, Tony's a great defender. I'm a little defender, but uh, you know what you see out there is you can't guard everybody. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can't guard Jamal, me, and and Chunks. You know what I mean? So uh, what what he does out there is, is is a game changer. You know, we just try to keep him off balance and give him different looks. Blake, you scored more in the first quarter tonight than you did in game one. Can you talk about your mentality entering tonight's game? Just to be aggressive. Um, you know, last game I felt like it, at times I, I you know, passed up so many open looks, and, you know, here and there. Um, but just to be aggressive, take open shots, and uh, make sure I crash off the glass. And, um, you know, like I said earlier, my teammates did a great job of moving space on the floor, and, you know, giving me the ball in easy positions. And, Couple more questions. We'll go over here, Steve. Um, <laughs> it's Steve and Aaron McCall, three observer. Blake, uh, just talk a little bit about what it takes to go up against Zach Randolph and, and how you thought you did. Uh, you know, it's going to be a physical game. That's that's his MO. That's what he like, likes to do. He loves when he ends up physical. Um, so you got to you know you got to account for him at all times. Keep your hand on him. You know where he's at. And you know when the ball goes up, he's going to pursue the ball at your same time. So um, you know, my job is just to. Not necessarily get the rebound, but take him out of the play. Let our, let our guards um, get the rebound. So I mean, that's the mindset going in. I mean, he's, he's a tough guy to stop. You know, he, he averages a lot of rebounds for a reason. So I think as a team, you know, we did a pretty good job again on him tonight. On all of them, really. Take Ted and one more. Blake, uh, you guys had franchise best 10 blocks tonight. Describe what the heck was going on out there. I mean, that's pretty impressive stuff. I mean, it was a team thing. It really was. I mean, Eric Bledsoe, you know, blocked some of the most unbelievable shots on our team. And it was fun for us to, to see that. Um, you know, a couple of times Evo was driving and, and, you know, Ronnie would slow him down or Elo would slow him down. Somebody would, you know, come to the backside and block him. DJ was a monster around the rim blocking shots. And, you know, that's what it takes to win games. Um, the little things, you know, you might not always, you know, double them on the, on the boards like we did last game. But, you know, it's little things like blocking shots. Blocking out everybody rebounding except the All right, here we go. I'm flying back tonight. One more. <laughs> one more question. Blake. Blake. Yeah. What happened when you fell down and went to the, the cameraman there and grabbed the camera? Did you happen to notice the terror in the cameraman's eyes when you grabbed that camera from him? <laughs> he, wait, you said what? <laughs> did, you see how, did you see how scared he was oh, when you had that camera? I <laughs> uh, no, I didn't. I didn't have terror. I didn't. I didn't really have a chance to, to get his get his face, but um, I, I checked on him afterwards, and he seemed like he was okay. But his camera was in a couple pieces. So. Did you trying to wrap it up. Your lap there. What? No, the like the cord he got yes. caught on my finger. That's why I was like holding it. Make it good. Uh, no pressure. When, you brought Chris over, when, when Chris came over here, are these are the moments that you envision the kinds of shots, the kinds of games, maybe the thing that was missing with this team, and now you have a guy like that. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, you know, in, in our mind, one of the best closers in the game. You know, he does it night in and night out, and he does it for us. But you know, our thing, I, I said to, to some guys in the locker room, that was a great win, and, and see, that was an unbelievable performance by CP down the stretch, really the whole game. But we can't put him in that kind of situation. You know, we were up. 12, and we were up seven with four minutes, whatever it was, you know, and, and, and we got we to gotta play a little bit better and, and be more aggressive and not not so much, you know, kind of hold back and then try to maintain a lead, but extend it. Thank you, everyone. Thanks, gentlemen.